Salutations, saboteurs, sabotage the fool here, back with a sixth installment of the adventures of Shuggy. And this time, just to be different, I am using the controller. Um, using a program called Joy to Key. Let's see if I can remember to put like a, I don't know, download or a description down below in the nether regions of this video for you to check it out. It's a, it's a pretty useful program. You have to use it if you're playing Binding of Isaac with the controller because it um, converts joypad input into different keystrokes. So I have set a profile up to play Adventures of Shuggy with this to see if I'm any less clumsy. So let's have a look at what some of these new maps are. In the last one I got um, enough keys to open up the graveyard and in this one I'm hoping to go and defeat the, um, the zombie scarecrow I think it was. Let's see what some of these hopefully more interesting rooms are. Shuggy can jump whenever he wants in this level. He doesn't even have to be on the ground. He's at the jump button and watch him go. It's sort of like flying, swimming style. Yeah. Yeah. See, far less clumsy already, I think. I know that wasn't much of a judge for the level, but still. Mines. Float around those mines. Chugging can jump super high in this level. Hold down space for a really high jump. And keep tapping it as you fall to float down gradually. Oh, what did I hit? Is mine there? Well, there was. Oh, it's in the shadows. That was a, was a dirty trick. <laughs> so much for me being much less clumsy in this one. Oh, what? He was standing in front of that one. No wonder I didn't see it. Right, let's try working from the top down. <laughs> let's, let's try that again. Run that once more. Collision boxes in this. I feel it's slightly odd. Then again, so is my timing and controls. <laughs> oh god! This is going so horribly! Okay, that was an actual lag spike that time. That's what killed me that time. Still have no idea why I would get any form of graphical lag from this game. Distracted me with his flying nonsense. Can I squeeze in there? Oh. Stop it. Oh, dear. I was lost for nearly four minutes alone.
Come on! looking at where I'm jumping to and not what's in between here and there. I think that's another one of my main problems here. I don't have the necessary cognitive functions to uh, do levels like this one. What on earth is that? Why does he have like a cock dangling from his nose? Or rather where his nose should be. Our creation is that. Oh, thank all that is unholy. That was ridiculously hard. For me, I'm sure for most people it's completely fine. Teleporting fun, you'd be glad. Teleporters travel on platforms. Hello? I got this, I got this. Oh, maybe I don't. Oh. Overcocking it right there. I do quite like the ingenuity of these teleportation levels. They're quite, quite interesting. That was a really bad landing. Oh, jeez. Salutations, this is Sabotage the Fool coming from a different time stream as the audio on this session decided to randomly glitch out on my recording. Uh, we'll be returning in another bit, but for now it's going to be a post-mortem style commentary. So that was a bit on the clumsy side, but um, I remember complaining through this bit that um, the controls, I feel, he didn't stop just as natural as he should. It doesn't feel as coherent as a lot of other game controls do. It's sort of a bit like you're running on ice at times and you'll have a bit of an after slide. Um, and again, that might just be me failing at controlling him. But, yeah, I do, I do get slightly better at it later on. I know it's quite late into the game. At time of doing this, I think um, after this one there's about probably two, two episodes left. And uh, I think that's all of the main gameplay gone. Okay, that was just horribly clumsy. I really should have made that jump. Yeah, see? Clear. It's fine. The guy. Why did I not go for. Oh, yeah. Directing it towards the boss. I found out after doing this as well, there's actually a, um... Go through the gap. There's actually a uh, achievement for doing this level without using the teleporter. Fish your fear, I think it is. I'll maybe do that in another play. Oh, come on! Go up through the gap! Stupid... Man, bat... Thing... Good lord. Thank you. 
<laughs> well joked. But looks like you can direct the door, so you can, like, <laughs> puke the cube. Can, um, think fast and rotate wisely. Oh. Don't feel like I can do either of those things. Oh, and it's a fluty level, too. Super jumps. That was lag again. Why the lag? From this game, why does it keep happening? Random spikes. What? I wasn't moving. I turned it from a flat position. I understood the mechanics of those mosquitoes. I don't know how Lust Weave they're following me or whatever. Since Rage incoming. Yes! That was a big level. Okay. The scare zombie. Here we go! Sucker to me. Sometimes you can pick up objects using the action button. Pressing it again drops the object. So that's where those zombies are coming from. It is indeed. What objects can I pick up and where am I supposed to be putting them? Where's what something going across? With these? Can I pick up these? No? What can I pick up? What's going on? Why are there zombies everywhere? I can I pick up the cross? Gun! Ah! Abraham Lincoln. Pier <laughs> 2 has not worked.
boss is a lot of guess what I'm going on. Lincoln, come back here and touch my cross. Can I chase him into him? Is this where he's going? Is he running away from him? How do you use this to any sort of ability? I'm really not liking this boss. This is this feels so hard. Thank God I didn't need to do that again. Ah, oh. skillfully, really. Shuggy skillfully defeats the evil zombies, and peace is restored to the graveyard. Suddenly, a falling slate shatters the calm, nearly hitting Shuggy. What's going on up there? Shuggy spies robots getting up to mischief on the clock tower. Right! To the clock tower! Let me see if I've got enough keys. I'm assuming I don't because like, I only got like 7 from here. 56 for the clock tower. That is another 9 keys I'll have to get. And that'll be another nine keys I'll be getting the next episode. So, for now, this is Sabotage the Fool, signing out. <laughs>